Hello boys and girls, now that it's getting cold outside, it's the perfect weather to get your teddy bear and read a story. So come with me. Today we're reading a book called Mrs. Wobble the Waitress. So let's find out what happens. Mrs. Wobble was a waitress. She liked her work. The customers liked her work too. The only trouble was she wobbled. One day, Mrs. Wobble wobbled with a bowl of soup. The soup landed on a customer's dog. Mrs. Wobble got told off. She got shouted at. The next day, Mrs. Wobble wobbled with a roast chicken. And the roast chicken landed on a customer's head. Oh no! Mrs. Wobble got told off again. Gosh, I wouldn't be happy if a roast landed on my head. The next day, Mrs. Wobble wobbled with a plate of jelly. The jelly landed on the manager's head. Oh dear, she said. Mrs. Wobble got the sack, which means she got fired. Mrs. Wobble went home to her family. Mr. Wobble cooked her tea. The children tried to cheer her up. Cheer up, Ma, they said. You will find another job in another cafe. But there were no other cafes. That was the only one in town. Mrs. Wobble knew this. There are no other cafes, she said. And then she began to cry. The children did not like to see their mother cry. And it made them cry too. And then their father started to cry. Then Mr. Wobble had an idea. I know what we can do, he said. We can open our own cafe. Where? Where? Everybody said where? Here, said Mr. Wobble. We can turn the house into a cafe. That sounds like a good idea. The next day, the Wobble family turned their house into a cafe. They cleaned and painted. They moved the chairs and tables around. They changed the curtains. That looks pretty. Mr. Wobble went shopping. He bought meat and vegetables, fruit and fish, cheese and chicken, flour as well, and a few other things. The children went shopping too. They bought two pairs of roller skates and a fishing net. What are those for? said Mr. Wobble. It's a surprise, Pa, the children said. You just wait and see. In the evening, Mrs. Wobble made waiters clothes for her children. Mr. Wobble and the children made the menus. Oh, this looks very nice. Oops. The children went to bed. Mr. and Mrs. Wobble stepped outside. They looked at their new cafe. It's the big day tomorrow, Mr. Wobble said. We are going to make our fortunes. Yes, said Mrs. Wobble. The only trouble is, what if I wobble? The next day the children woke up early. It's the big day today, Ma, Master Wobble said. He gave his mother a cup of tea in bed. Miss Wobble gave her father a cup of tea in bed. We are going to make our fortunes today, Pa, she said. And they were all very excited. After breakfast, Mr. Wobble began cooking. Mrs. Wobble and Miss Wobble laid the tables. Master Wobble went round the town with a sandwich board. The first customers arrived. Oh dear, oh dear, said Mrs. Wobble. What if I? And you can see she's busy wobbling. Mrs. Wobble wobbled with a bowl of soup. Help, said the customer. Miss Wobble skated to the rescue. She caught the soup in another bowl. That's so clever, said the customer. Mrs. Wobble wobbled with a roast chicken. Wow, said the customer. Master Wobble skated to the rescue. 
he caught the roast chicken in the net. Hooray, said the customer. Then all the other customers cheered. Hooray, hooray. This is more fun than a circus, they said. <laughs> that night, Mrs. Wobble counted the money. It looks like a fortune to us, Ma, the children said. Mr. Wobble gave them a hug. And we owe it all to the famous juggling waiters, he said. The next day, there was a big crowd in the street. The people had come from miles around to see the famous juggling waiters. The children peeped out. There's a big crowd in the street, Ma, they said. Yes, said Mrs. Wobble. And then she began to laugh. Now the only trouble is, what if I don't wobble? <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed that one. Bye.